Hey guys, what's going on? This is Chris at Hodgepox of Birmingham, and today we're going to break down start to finish a grow in our NFT LTE. And what that is, is our NFT light system. And the reason we call it that, it's a smaller version of your regular NFT. So as you can see here, this system is a 16 site, uh, 4 inch PVC, it has 3 inch neck cups, and the reservoir here, there's a 185 gallon per hour small submersible pump, and basically that water just pumps up, it comes back down, it feeds through our pipe, and goes back to the reservoir. But anyway, let me show you the best way to start seeds for a system like this. I like to use rock wool, and one good thing about rock wool is it holds a lot of water, it's very moisture retentive, and it makes seed propagation very easy. So all you do with these is you break off your rock wool cube, you're going to soak it in water, kind of let that excess drip back off, take your seeds, and just place them in the hole they provided in the rock wool cube. So I've got them in there, I'm just going to kind of push them down and then go directly into your dome and cell plug tray. And then, before the camera cut on, I made it a lot easier on me and I labeled each one of these. So what we have here is black Simpson lettuce and it's got the date on there. That way you don't get confused when you started the seed. And also you can tell how quick they're germinating by putting the date on there. It's just kind of a good idea. So I'll go ahead and get the rest of these in there real quick. Once again, we're just soaking our cube. You're going to pull up a few seeds, place them in the hole, push them down, and that's all you got to do. One good thing that I like to do is place multiple seeds in there because you never know if a seed's going to be viable. So if you have a couple in there, you can let the strongest survive, cull them out, and just leave the one that you want. So let me go ahead and finish this. This is bib lettuce. And like I said a second ago, off camera, I went ahead and made all my little white stakes here. And those are just identification markers. Once again, soak it. Pull it out. What we have next is Arctic King lettuce. Drop a couple of those seeds in there. Push them down. Place it in the tray. Next up, we have red salad bowl. Soak the cube. Drop you a couple of seeds down in that hole. And then place it in your cell plug tray. We'll stake it so we don't get them mixed up. And there's just four more guys, bear with me. This right here is gourmet lettuce mix. Just adding a couple in there. And then we're going to put our steak in. Next we have dinosaur or blue kale. Then we have pak choy. Trying to hurry up here. And lastly we have a edible flower and I'm gonna stick two in here they're a lot larger seeds and then place my marker in there and I'll do the rest of these off camera as far as putting in the other ones there but once again we have a 16 site system uh, I started 16 plants here I put extra seeds in there to make sure they germinate and once they do pop up we'll go through I'll show you guys how to cull those out and then go ahead and get them transplanted into your system. I appreciate your time here and hopefully uh, you guys will stick around from start to finish here and we can see how easy it is to use this NFT system.